Hello everybody, it's me. Welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I'm going to take a look at something that I have not seen anyone using. And it is quite possibly the best awakened form in the game right now. Of course, I'm talking about Mothra. Now, when Mothra was first revealed um, to it having levitate whenever the uh, cave update happened, when I think it had to fight some lady, and when it was revealed to have levitate and is a poison metal type, it has one weakness. One, being fire. So, pair it with something that resists fire. This thing basically has no weaknesses and that's just insane to me so here i have health and attack very very obvious on a mothra and with our trait leech we don't we're not actually using this trait it's just you can use poisonous skin if you really want to prevent um someone like get a possible early poison or like a bug type or something or even a fighting type um of course we have the mothra runes we can awaken which is going to be really really solid and then here with our moves we have insect instinct precision dart venabite and shatter now our coverage with venabite and shatter is already super duper strong put that on top with the insect instinct forcing a lot of things out and then you also have precision dart on top of that i'm like this thing can you can't set up on it because they can just precision dart and break through your boosts you can't switch out because they can just click insect instinct and you can't switch in um an air type because then it will just click venom bite you know and you can't go a fire type or you can't you can't go an earth type because it says levitate you know and this can hit fire types awaken mothra has like no counters and i haven't seen anyone using it and that's why i think it's super strong and no one has been using it and with equipments here, we just have Feathered Hat, Ornate Necklace, and Pizza Slice. Though if you want to, you can switch out Precision Dart for Iron Slash. You really, it doesn't really matter. Because of course, this becomes your second stab move. Because you become a Poison Metal type. So, yeah. With our equipments, we have Feathered Hat, Ornate Necklace, and Pizza Slice. Basically, you can switch it with like Thingamajig if you want to get some more damage. But I like this because you are a little bit more bulky. And you also give Geneco Melee Attack, which is really, really solid. My only issue with this... Is it doesn't have any reliable recovery because of what it turns into, you know? And it it loses leech and it gains levitate, but levitate's already super good ability. Give, getting an immunity on your quad weakness is just insane. Like I'm just saying, this thing is strong. No one is using it. But yeah. Anyway, I'm excited. Hopefully you are as well. And let's just see how well this goes. Let's hop into the first battle. Okay, and here we go into the first battle. Now, Mare, okay, Mare is actually a very old friend, so this is exciting to go up against. Um, also, I finally got Wanda back. Sling has been borrowing her for so long, and I finally got her back today, and I feel so much more confident fighting electric types with Wanda. Like, it's so, so good to have her back. But, um, I'm a little bit worried about what Koryu can do, though I think Wanda can hopefully check core you um we could honestly go mothra like if we lead mothra we want to awaken immediately and if they if they take out they can do that actually this is an incredibly good lead for me i can insect instinct right i mean they have something that can wall me very well being able to tattoo but if i awaken plus insect instinct on their takeout most likely i'm gonna go for it and once I awaken, I will resist all of his moves. Maybe pairing this thing with Lewis Prayer would be a good idea. Something like Earth Week that's, that can take on Lewis Prayer. Maybe. <clears throat> oh, actually, Food Fight. Okay. I mean, I don't really get the Food Fight because then I can just kill you. So, I guess I'll take your kill if you want to. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Bam. Venom Bite takes it out in one hit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, you really don't have any good way of beating this. Realistically, your best way is to, would be Cory, Dark Slash, which I live and I can click Precision precision Dart on. Okay, this coming in. What if they click the Earth move for getting. I'm a. They could. But I think Grimantle is always my best play to play because it, it is immune to the Earth move and. Um, they do toughen. I'm gonna harmony here, hopefully. I can get it off. I definitely want a harmony here. I do have the psycho force in the back, so I'm down. Okay. 
I'm actually faster than it, which is really nice. I like having a, a faster Grimantle. It's nice. Let me night-night twice. Okay, let's see. So, that should be half. God, dude. I just don't... I love Grimantle. Like, when you can hit your moves with Grimantle, it's so strong. Okay, we kill, we kill that. Okay. And we do have... I don't have an electric resist. I do have an electric resist, but it's not a very good one. Okay, so they go Relic Honus. So, that's just a beast move. Ooh, wait. If I went Mothra... Mothra doesn't even hit this thing, though. That is Night Night. You don't even do half. Their lethal ornament. As they went for Hyper Voice when they have a beast move. Okay, taking down the Reliconus. Very simple. Very, very simple. We just heal up here. And if they go Koryu, I think we can go into Mothra. And then we can throw out a Precision Dart. And if they go into Voltatu, we just hit them with a Venom Bite if we can. Okay, yeah. So we go Mothra here. We are going to take quite a bit of damage here. I don't think we live the Dark Slash in this range. We're probably going to end up going down. But I think here I always Precision Dart. The Dark Slash, so I'm probably going to end up going down here. Oh my, 3 HP! W, dude, W. Okay, that's nice. Okay, then we can pretty much just go in Peril Flame and we should be good to go. Um, Nah, I definitely don't outspeed. Look at our defenses, though. That's, it's insane. All right, let me Venom Bite here. They Shifting Winds. I don't really know why they're doing that, because they're probably just going to get a boost. That's what their plan is. I mean, dude, I'm just saying, I have a very strong attack, so... Oh, no, you just lose, right? Yeah, no. I get to go in Peril Flame, right? No, I think first I go Wanda, then I switch into Sling, and then I go for the Leaf Blade on the Nimbell, and it's Toughen, maybe? Yeah, I Opal Pulse here. Thunder Strike, we good, take half, we're fine, we got Crit as well, we heal up, that's great. As we go for the nice open pulls, taking down the Voltatu. Beautiful. Oh, trading my skin. Oh, I wonder if it's like the one I gave away randomly in the... Sometimes I like giving away um, random things in the... Uh... Like giving away my recolor. It's fun giving that away. But yeah, as you guys know, I've been, this is weird to like mention out of nowhere, but as you guys know, I have been on a slight burnout recently, but I took a uh, like two day break and I'm feeling great. Now with me, I don't really need to take like a week long break, but um, <laughs> I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll get back into it. Okay, here we go in the next battle. Now, as I was saying, I've been on a slight burnout recently, and I'm not the kind of person that needs to take like a four year break before I can come back and I'm not completely burnt out. I can take like a day break and I'm all good to go. Uh, does you, does you mean to have these, these, uh, crap, wrong team? <laughs> very, very worried about that Rotera. Uh, actually, should I be worried about it? Because I get to go into this. Right? Yeah. Ooh. Hold up. This could be insane. If they hit and run, I get the plus one. But why do I hit very hard? I don't think I hit anything very hard. I precision dart here. They're probably going to heat bash if they have it. Yeah, they have that. I take half. The heat bash is... Well, um, immediately got burned, like, in instantly, like, there were, there was just, no chance, no, 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 no chance at all, there were, there were just, just no, nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing I could have done, just instantly, happens instantly, that's crazy, uh, I can boo, I'll have to beat you, god, I don't know why I'd be summoned there. There's no point. Oh, 
Rose Flowers cameo. What? Do I save this on the Mothra and the Abyssant? Because these I'm not worried about. This is just like... I could go Mal. I think what I do is I Soul Fire. As they go into one of their Shiwis. Okay. And then I can... I don't think they meant to have these Shiwis. Though, the Mothra only took half from a Confidence Boosted Heat Bash. Which is kind of crazy to me. Which is really cool. Okay, they go into Abyssant. And this is where I go straight Malzuri. Then I can Crystal Armor up. And doing that makes it so I'm unbreakable by anything here. And I can just break the rest of their team. The Icy Bite, probably assuming I would go into Springling on the Flashing Strike to get a free Elite Blade off, which would have done some good damage. But then you can just go into this and you, then you resist it. Then you could Quick Stink, then I Quick Strike, because if I do enough, plus the Quick Strike. Unless you are Awakened Mothra. I'm going to Crystal Armor up. <clears throat> now here I always rust because there's a very good chance he awakens here very good chance he awakens here and if he does that's good for me because then I get the extra damage probably half I have the plus two defense though right now so he can't he can't break me yeah even if he's shattered he would need to get a crit and plus I outspeed as well this should do half hopefully beautiful I think that was exactly half Precision Dart. That should do a little bit of damage, but just not enough. Not enough, buddy. <laughs> That's a free Rust. Can't do anything against it. Probably goes into Shiwi. Yeah, if the second Shiwi comes in. Which, funnily enough, completely walls me. Squeak. Lowering my attack. Okay. Let me Rust. Okay, um, I mean, Malzuri just wins this game, so, if they go Koryu, I just click, uh, Crystal Armor and get my boost up. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm completely safe versus this Koryu. Yeah, that could still break me. That could still break me if I didn't click this. I get my heal, I get heal up here, then I get a Crystal Armor again, get my plus two. Now I'm at plus four. And I got another heal jelly. So here, I always I always rust. There's never any reason for me to click Opal Pulse. Oh, well. <laughs> GG. Okay, and here we go into the next battle. This battle's a pretty decent one. He has... Okay, so it's definitely Awakened Hatrix. It's definitely what he has. I'm very worried about that. Um, What are you leading with? Either you lead off with your Wolf Freeze or Polar. Either way, can I go into you? I feel like either way I can just go to that. That or I set a B Summon, you know? If I set a B Summon, sacrifice it, go to Mothra, Awaken. He can't really do anything versus Moth Awaken Mothra. It hits everything on his team besides the Hatricks, which is what we're most worried about. But we also have Gramantle, which can hopefully deal with the Hatricks. If it, I think it lost. Uh, it doesn't have Spell Shield anymore. So killing with range moves should be pretty simple. I, I think I go. I think I go with the lead of Janeko. Yeah, they go to Polar. So I am faster. And I think what I do, I think what I do first is I boo to get rid of the ability. And then if they go to Koryu, I can actually just click um, Soul Fire. And if they go Will Freeze, I just click Soul Fire. And boo actually one shots. Nice. Janeko getting that good one shot in very, very early. Do, 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 do. Okay, as they go, we'll freeze. And it's not rush, so that could be... Well, what I want to do... I want to get my beast summon up. I want to get beast summon up, so that's what, that's what I'm going to do. So they probably dark slash or icy bite. That's fine. I should take a bit there. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to go down to a quick ice here. I'm going to soul fire if I can. They're going to quick ice, though, because they just, just, they just, they just want to get the kill. They just want to get a kill. Actually, no, they actually let me hit it. Is it Royal? It is Royal Decree. Okay. Okay, so now I think... I feel like here I go Mothra. No. If I go you, they Reckless. I think this is a fine move. 
fine play to make. Um, and then if they go into Tough Blaze and Shatter, I go Gramantle, take a Beast move, go Mothra. Yeah, I Rust here. Okay, Reckless, okay, that's fine. If I take half, I heal, beautiful. Definitely wanted that, we heal up too. Beautiful. Nice, we basically just took 25% from that exchange. Which is pretty nice. Well, 31, but not really difference. Hatrix comes in. Okay, this is what I was a little bit worried about. Though, we could get some cheeky outplay with Mothra if we do this right. I want to keep Malzuri around so I can hit the Kronos. But I feel like I have Imperial Flame plus Springling. But the chip with the Beast Summon might be enough for Quick Strike to get a sneaky KO. I think what I do first, I go Gramantle. Eat. They pretty much gutted this awakening, so I'm never worried about it anymore. The uh, hatchet went from the best awakening to the worst awakening. Like it, it literally went from the best to the worst in a single update. I I get to atomophobia here. You're only switching to this is tough lays, and then I just get to switch. So that never kills me, unless it freezes. But yeah, and since you don't have spell shield anymore, I one shot. Yep, that's why hatricks does kind of suck now. Mm hmm. This is a... I don't ever need Grimantle anymore because it doesn't do anything, so I can just sack it off. It's fine if I die. <laughs> Why would you not click out a cold or Icy Slash? Now I just got free damage, man. Come on. What are you doing? I mean, Tomophobia. Okay, now here their strongest move is Kona Cold, and I resist the dark move. So I can go from... It's kind of funny how Mothra does kind of check Koryu in a way. So I get to Awaken here, and then I Precision Dart. If they go to Flays, they'd see Shatter and maybe click it, but I think I maybe can outspeed to Flays. If that happens, then I go Impero. Because, you know, I go Malzuri and Scout. I'm a little bit worried about the Tuflays, actually. Tuflays is a little bit worrisome. They're probably going to click Cone. Icy Floor? Okay, I'll take it. And if they go Kronos, I have Springling plus Imperil Flame, which can take out take, take down the Kronos with an Opal Pulse plus Quick Strike. Or even just one Quick Strike. Unless they want a Soul Fire, which then I, I Shatter and kill. Then I go Malzuri and live a Shatter, hopefully, and be able to Rust and kill the tough plays. That's the plan. Actually, no. They can't, sh they can't Shatter and kill. It doesn't matter what they go into because Mothra can get a good a good hit. Okay, good. They go they go for the Soul Fire route, which is what I wanted. So now I can shatter here and take this thing down. This is a Soul Fire. Beautiful. Take nothing from that. And he melted away the icy floor. I shatter, take down the Kronos. Beautiful. So now, if they see their shatter and they click it, I'm gonna be very happy. <laughs> a Hawaiian dad. That's the best freaking name. I'm gonna shatter. See, see the quad effect move. Please see the quad effect move and click it. Darn. Maltha goes down. But it doesn't really matter. And Paraflame plus Springling beats it. I get to slash. Slashing is fine here because we always outspeed because we have the higher base stat. He has 75 speed. We have 93. So we always outspeed here with Springling. Slash comes out. Does a lot of very, very good damage there. Very, very good. So I am going to go down here, but that doesn't really matter. They just go in Paraflame and get to uh, Fireball now. With their Magical Jelly, we get the plus two speed, which is good. We go in Paraflame. And we Fireball. All right, the Mothra going to put in some good work there. Yeah, that's a uh, GG's. Good game. Good, good game. Anyway, that's a pretty good battle. Let's hop in the next one. Okay, and here we go to the next battle. Now, looking at this battle for Mothra, um, we could beat Zeno. We can hit. Okay, so we can hit, 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 hit. We hit everything but Jira, and we have Juneka for Jira. We definitely, and we also have you for Jira. We also have you for Jira, who can just harmony it. Then we have you for Chilling Chorus. Yeah, we can throw Jira. I just, I think I just go with this lead, and if they lead off with Thornet, okay, yeah. I should be faster. Yeah, I am the faster one. 
Do I get the range or melee? Magic, beautiful. So here I always soul fire. I always soul fire because if they awaken, I get the still the quad effective move. Let's see. Where do they click? You're switching probably into Abyssin. Okay, I'll take half your health on one of your threatening things. Um, the question is, do I want to set up B summon and be weak to priority? No, I always kill this. I always kill the Noxious if I get the chance. Hey, you all, if you ever get a chance to get a free kill like that, don't ever set up your traps. Don't ever do that. Like, if you get a, so when you're going for a suicide lead trapper, like, let's say I went Springling as a lead and they went, uh, for some reason, Mold, right? I'm always clicking Leaf Blade instead of Entangling Bot. No way. No way you're giving me Jira. If he gives me Jira, I win the game with immediately with Mothra. Okay, he gave me Jira. Sick. Okay, now I just switch in Mothra and then I get to uh, Venomite, 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 Shatter. <laughs> Venomite's one of the most free moves to ever click right now. Mm. Um, I guess what I'll do now is I just go Grimantle. And if they click Spirit Orb, I get to hit and run. But I definitely have the faster hit and run. I don't really want to have the fast hit and run. As they go for a switch into... Okay. My whole objective is trying to get this Mothra on the field. So I'm down to take a hit. I don't really need this anyway. Actually, they don't flash any Icy going for a freeze maybe. I don't get it off luckily and I get to get the hit and run. Now I get to go into Mothra. And I get to Awaken. Let's awaken and we can venom bite huge huge awaken here as they go for an icy bite and i resist beautiful look at that and we take down the abyssin beautiful now if they go clang a tang and they see the quad effective move there's a pretty good chance that I'd have be a very happy person because they I one shot one shot so yeah I'm gonna go for it I think I live the attack anyway half health no that didn't even do half this just isn't really an exchange I really want to take but wait you only have an electric move now you don't do any damage to me buddy Yes! And that's it. Also, we're speed tied? Yeah, you're also 80 speed? Okay. What are you going into? Now, if this is Awaken, this might be a little bit scarier than I want it to be. Let me Venom Bite. Are you Awakened? No, you're going to be late game beast summon. Okay. Yes. That's, that's going to help you. The late game beast summon. That's insane. Alright, I'll Venom Bite then. I maybe could Insect Instinct if they go Clang, but I don't think there's any point to doing that. I'd say they forfeit. The Mothra forfeit! <laughs> Let's go! And with that, we're going to be ending off this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, you like and subscribe down below. It's very helpful. But if I'm going to be honest, I say this literally every single time if I'm going to be honest. I really enjoyed it. It definitely felt very, very strong. And I definitely think you should give this thing a try if you really, really want to. And I think it's very worth it to go for. Um very very fun doodle to try out i feel like you can have a little bit better teammates than i had i really really liked the mothra plus malzuri core bring something with wish if, if you bring something with lewis prior that resists fire um like an endoval for example not, endoval doesn't resist i mean it's uh neutral and it's bulky so you could do that and it could be a very very good pairing with mothra and i definitely think that could be a very effective very very effective but yeah That'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll give this thing an 8 out of 10. See ya!